Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got my very first official fall Madewell haul, which I know I've done a lot of Madewell hauls over the past few months that have been like pre-fall, late summer types of hauls, but today is actually like the very first fall haul for Madewell and I'm so excited because you guys know I did tons of work with Madewell back in the summer and they followed up and they wanted to continue with fall content and so that means you guys get more hauls here on my YouTube channel as well. So I am working with Madewell over on my Instagram. I will put my Instagram handle here if you wanna check it out, see the posts and stuff like that. But with all of my packages that I get in when there's like enough pieces to do a haul, I try to do a try on haul for you guys so that you can see the pieces on, my thoughts about the fit, how they move, how they look. You can see all the angles. I feel like it just represents the piece better than taking a photo of it and posting it. So this is my very first official fall Madewell haul. I'm so, so excited. I feel like I got a lot of really great styles for summer, but honestly guys, I am ready for blazers, jackets, sweaters, layers, pants, boots. I feel like fall is truly my comfort zone when it comes to my style. I love earth tones. I love neutrals, which I'm sure you guys know. I will say, I feel like I did a pretty good job about breaking out some color. It's time to like go fully neutral again. So I have got some sweaters in here and some other pieces. Honestly, I'm not totally positive. What is in this box? So this will be kind of like a little mystery fall surprise for both of us, but I hope you guys enjoy these hauls. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you are loving these videos. You want to see more. If you are new to my channel, I link all of the pieces and everything that I talk about down below in the description box, as well as the size that I'm wearing and any thoughts on sizing as far as like sizing up, sizing down, how I feel like it fits me. I am five foot two just for reference, so I am on the petite side, but we are gonna go ahead and get into it because I'm just very curious about what's in this box. I finally have a couch and a coffee table to do these hauls on. I'm so thrilled about it. If you guys are new to my channel, my husband and I just bought our very first house one month ago, pretty much like, yeah, a month ago. And we have been slowly adjusting. Sadly, my office has been like the one thing that like I can't figure out. I've never had an office or a space for myself. And I think like the options, the endless options I could do with it are like overwhelming me. So I'm trying to do it really slowly and not do anything like too abruptly because I don't want to do something and then be like, no, why did I do that? But I think the options are like just keeping me from doing anything. So right now I've got a couch and I put this lamp from our past living room at the place that we were renting in here as well. So like a lot of neutrals right now though, which is kind of my vibe. So like I said, I am not totally positive of everything that is in this box. So this is gonna be kind of a surprise for the both of us. I think I'm gonna be doing like two posts for Madewell over the next couple of months. So you'll have this haul and then there might be another haul coming up as well, but I will try to do my best at sharing everything with you guys as I get it in from them. I know you guys find it really helpful for sizing and just product recommendation. And plus, seeing stuff on video is just really, really helpful. So, we will start. Oh, we got a couple of handbags, it looks like. We've got sweaters. We've got two pairs of denim. Oh, where should I start? Let's start here because this is the piece that I'm, I hate whenever I say I'm the most excited about because something else comes up and I'm just as equally excited, but honestly anything fall I'm excited for right now. So the very first piece is this beautiful, beautiful little polo style top. This has a collar on it. You guys know I'm a sucker for anything with a collar. However, you'll be happy to know it doesn't have buttons, so I didn't get everything with buttons. But this one has this really beautiful like navy stripe on it. I believe that's navy and not black, if I'm correct. I'm like 99% sure this is navy, but I love the striped detail. It feels very scholarly, but I could see this with a pair of denim, a really cute boot, a little like saddle bag or something. I think that would be adorable. It's this beautiful heathered, kind of oatmeal gray, a little bit more gray than it is kind of like a warm cream. This is like such a good piece to kick off the haul with. This just screams fall. I can already imagine styling it up. I love the little stripe detail though. I thought that's what made that piece really unique. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a pair of jeans so that we can 
have something to try on all the tops with so these are the perfect vintage jean and i got these in petite because like i said i am on the shorter side i'm actually wearing the perfect vintage jean right now i didn't know i was gonna get more denim but i absolutely adore madewell's denim it's like one of the things that made me fall in love with the brand before i ever started working with them i just loved their jeans and these ones are the best because they are super high-waisted the perfect vintage jean line is on Honestly, one of my favorite denims I've ever put on. I feel like they are so flattering. They're super high-waisted and if you can get them in petite, they are just like absolutely perfect length. So these are a pair of a washed black perfect vintage jean in a petite and I will go ahead and I'll throw this on with that little sweater so that you can see these first two pieces and then we will get into the rest. Honestly, I was born for fall. Just putting this stuff on, I just feel so alive. I can't even describe it. This is the sweater and I just absolutely love the little stripes. I just noticed it actually has the stripes on the sleeve, which is so fun. I think this is like a beautiful, beautiful color. It is a pretty slouchy fit, so you could size down if you wanted it to fit a little bit more snug, but I actually kind of like the way that it lays. I've just got it front tucked right now into the jeans. You could also, you know, tuck it in all the way around. These are the perfect vintage jean and they are perfect. I love how high-waisted they are. So, so flattering. The petite fits me absolutely perfectly. And then this is what they look like from the back. Really, really flattering on. I've got them paired with some boots from And Other Stories. These are like the shoes that currently I'm the most excited about to wear this year. They are like the most beautiful silhouette. They also are a high ankle and I'll link them down below as well. But I just wanted to throw on a shoe so that you could see what everything looks like. A little bit more styled, not my bare feet in here, but yeah, I just, I feel like I'm coming alive right now with all of the coziest vibes. So I feel like Madewell has had some really good staple bags. And when I saw this on their website, I was like, I love the shape and the style is super clean. This is one of their leather bags and it has a long strap for a crossbody and I'll try it on for you guys so you can see the length on me. I usually wear all of their bags on the shortest setting just because like I said, I'm five foot two. But what I really liked about this bag is that it has these top handles. I kind of just love a top handle bag, especially in the fall. I feel like you're wearing like your coats and your sweaters and then you just have like a little handbag on your wrist. It's it's just a look. This one has gold hardware. It's an antique hardware and it has a zipper. And then on the inside here, we've got a single, I don't even know if you guys can see this because it's a black bag. We've got a single pocket right here just for a card holder or anything that you want to slip in there that you don't want to fall out. I just really love this shape. I think this is such a cute little fall bag shape. Honestly, you don't have to wear it in the fall though. It comes in brown, you can wear it year round. It is just a classic, super sleek, minimal bag. And then it actually is like a little bit wide so you have some room to actually fit some stuff into it. So this is what the bag looks like on me on the shortest setting. I think it hits in a really good place right on the hips and it's just a really great fall bag. This like throws me back to college when I like saved up and I bought my like very first ever Madewell bag. I think they still have it. It's like the mini tote bag. And I remember like loving the black leather. It's just like it's throwing me back right now to college, but I really, really like the shape of it. My favorite part though is that it has the top handle so you can hold it like this or you can put it on your wrist like so. So you're probably gonna find that almost everything in this haul is neutral, like I said. Fall comes around and I go completely neutral. All of the colors that I had tried in summer disappear from my wardrobe until the next spring. So this is a sweater that is just such a cozy, classic piece. It's like this, well, it's like kind of like the color of the shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's this beautiful little knit though. This is actually a pretty, lightweight knit this is not like a chunky sweater so this is honestly probably the perfect like transition into fall slash winter sweater depending on where you live in nashville it doesn't get cold until like december and then it's cold from like december through february but before that it's like low 
50s or like 60s so like kind of light sweaters and then a jacket is typically what I'll wear so this one has buttons sorry about it but it doesn't have a collar so it's you know it's fine but this one I will say just by holding it up this one feels very boxy so if you are wanting to wear this as a top actually let me try it on for you guys and then i will assess the fit of it once it's on because it actually might look better being kind of slouchy than not so i'll throw this one on and we will talk about how it fits so this is the sweater and it definitely fits like really slouchy so if you wanted to wear it as like an open cardigan i would say maybe stay to like true to size if you're wanting to wear it more like a top i personally would rather it be a little bit more fitted however like it's just super super cozy i do think it would be kind of fun to like wear it unbuttoned a little bit or like almost halfway and to throw some kind of like black tank underneath it so it could be like a little bit more i don't know like slouchy thrown over a tank top kind of vibe you can obviously you know tuck it in in the front but it is a really like slouchy piece so keep that in mind if you are super into just cozy slouchy cardigans you're gonna love this because the fabric is like so good for that it lays really beautifully it is just slouchy as heck i keep saying slouchy because i don't know how to describe it any other way but I think it's really, really cute with black denim. So if you put on like a tank, you could wear it open completely. I feel like you could wear this actually a few different ways just because it is a little bit more slouchy. It's not like necessarily forced to be just a top. It could also be worn as a cardigan over another top. So really love the color though. And the fabric is super, super soft, not itchy whatsoever and it looks really good like half tucked but then yeah this is what it looks like untucked which is like a super cozy vibe i typically like to wear my stuff tucked i like to see my waist a little bit just because i'm so short it gives me like a little bit of like break in the proportions but i think this is such a good basic piece to have for fall so 2020 was a year that i feel like you know there's a lot of things that we could leave behind in 2020 one thing though that happened in 2020 that I don't want to leave behind is the shacket. I feel like this trend popped off last year and I honestly never want it to go away because it's brilliant. It's a shirt jacket and it's usually plaid and it's a vibe. So I got the dreamiest, dreamiest, dreamiest shacket from Madewell. You guys are gonna absolutely adore this. This over any of the sweaters that I got with the bag, with the jeans, this is such a look already by itself, a statement piece. It's this beautiful olive green shacket and honestly it's lined so it is more like a coat than it is a thick flannel like it has a beautiful kind of like satiny olive green lining in it and i love when madewell lines their jackets because it just makes getting a sweater or a long sleeve top so much easier to get your arm in but also it will be warmer this jacket has a little pocket in the front and then it also is just the cutest thing ever. I love the length of it. It has two pockets here on the side. I'll throw it on so you can see it better, but I wish that the camera could pick up how beautiful this green is, how amazing the texture is. I feel like it's coming off a little bit like gray, but it's this stunning olive green that is just everything I love. Everything I love in a jacket is this jacket. So this is the jacket more so a jacket than really like a shirt but it looks so good over the sweater top for something like this like longer jacket i definitely would suggest like tucking your shirt into your pants just because it gives you a little bit more of a shape with something that's a little bit bulkier like a jacket that is my winter tip but yeah this jacket is so beautiful look at this gorgeous gorgeous color it's like green and checkered and the texture on it is just so beautiful so i'm a big fan of this jacket it has pockets here in the front and then also has a little front pocket here kind of like a flannel but yeah this jacket's gonna get worn a ton this is like so my vibe for fall this itself right here is such a look and then you just like throw in the bag and it's like we're done this is it this is the whole thing right here obsessed I love it so, so much. So we're gonna pop back to denim. These are the Perfect Vintage Straight Jean and I've never tried this version of the Perfect Vintage Jean 
The Perfect Vintage Jean is like a collection of denim and they have different versions of it under that umbrella. So this is the straight version of the Perfect Vintage Jean. I'm really excited to try it out. These I got in a petite again. I can already tell they're gonna be so high-waisted. I can already tell they're gonna look so cute. These are not a true black. These are gonna be like a washed black. So they have true black options if you want something that's like a super stark black. These are honestly kind of like a gray. A lot of texture in them though. They look super like worn and, and vintage, which is the vibe of the perfect vintage jeans. So if you like that style, you're gonna love these. I'm gonna try them on for you though. So these are the straight jean and I absolutely love the fit of these. I've never tried this fit of the perfect vintage jean before, but they are so, so good. I feel like they are like even more elongating because they're like this straight leg. They also are a little bit wider on your calves and your ankles, which actually makes them perfect for wearing them over boots. When I noticed with the other perfect vintage jean that I got is that they were not like a skinny jean, like they weren't super tight around the ankle of the boot, but these ones have like a little bit more space as you can see towards the bottom. They are definitely more of a gray. Let me show you guys the other ones next to them so as you can see these ones are definitely just like a gray jean and then the ones i had on previously were a little bit more black but still kind of like a faded black these i would just call gray probably but i am obsessed with the fit of these this is what they look like from the back i love the high waistedness and then i just threw on the little bag so you can see the full gray outfit this is definitely a grout fit but in like a different version <laughs> okay so this next piece is the exact same piece as the very first sweater the one with the stripes around the collar this one is a different color and it also doesn't have the stripe so this one is more of a is it green is it it doesn't have the stripe, but again, I just love any style top with a collar. I think it's just so classy and sophisticated. So this is that same sweater, but in this like brown, it kind of comes off like a little bit green, but I'm like pretty sure it's not green unless my eyes are actually p playing tricks on me. I'm pretty sure it's like gray. I will make sure on the listing what color it is, but y'all, I'm like 99.99% .99 sure this is gray. For some reason, this mirror picks it up as green, but it's this same kind of polo style. Looks really cute with the jeans. Also compared to the jeans, it looks very green because the jeans are coming off like a little bit blue from the window that's right here. We're gonna bounce back to bags. So this is a bag trend that's been happening a lot lately and i've actually been really really liking this trend it's the like belt bag slash like fanny pack revived style of bag and i've seen a ton of brands come out with them but i really really liked this one because the color i just thought was so so cute it's like a little pop of color if you go all neutral for fall this is like a beautiful red like it is just a stunning it's like what the leaves turn at their very peak it's just a beautiful beautiful berry orangey red and it's just it's just so cute the best thing about these types of nylon bags is that they are so lightweight so if you need something that you just want to throw on all day this is perfect i carried a nylon bag with me when we went to colorado and i just really liked having something that felt very utility that i could just kind of throw into the car didn't have to worry about and i just think madewell had a fun take on the belt bag so this is part of their mwl line which is like their active wear line and i just absolutely adore this color it's got one giant little snap pocket in the front you could throw your phone in but it also has a pocket in the back that you could put your phone in so there's different options the inside has one pocket as well this thing condenses really really small which is another reason that i love these like nylon bags is if you are traveling and you are wanting to take like a carry-on or you just want like a small handbag to throw into like a tote bag these are perfect for compacting and i think they're just kind of nice to have so this is the little bag and i just i love these styles of bags. I'm such a sucker for a belt bag, a utility style of bag. I just think it's perfect. You could wear it to like go on walks, throw your phone in there, your wallet in there. You could wear it to the mall if you're doing like a long day of shopping. It's just very out of the way, very small, very lightweight. 
and I just really like this color. I think this is such a fun pop of color with something like this all gray outfit. The next piece that I got is actually a color. It's shocking, honestly, but it's like a blue green. So did we see it coming? But this is a cardigan and I actually don't have any cardigans in this color. This is like one of the softest materials I've like ever felt though. It feels kind of like a sweatshirt, but it's in a cardigan form and it's got the buttons down the front, which you guys know I love. This is a longer cardigan. So it's gonna be really cute with just like a little t-shirt and some denim really great piece to throw on in this like transitional months okay so i definitely wouldn't wear this cardigan over another cardigan but i wanted you guys to see the color and the length this is legitimately like a pair of sweatpants but in cardigan form and that makes me really really happy it's got these two front pockets and these buttons one thing i also wanted to note is that this sweater actually has square buttons on it which i thought was a really really sweet detail that was just something subtle that i really liked about it this is a beautiful like emerald green like teal dark teal color it's just so so stunning this is going to be such a good like throw on around the house obviously you can wear it out but like this just gives me like at home cozy vibes and it's just a really beautiful colorful fall something that i actually don't have like in my cardigan collection all my cardigans are like tan black or brown i think and then the last piece that i got is another plaid piece because obviously it's fall and we wear plaid in the fall this is a blazer you guys know i'm blazer obsessed this blazer that i'm wearing right now is actually from madewell this was like one of my favorite pieces that they came out with during the summer because it's like a linen blazer it's perfect for like end of summer early fall spring it's like lightweight super summery well, I got a fall blazer and this one is gray and it has a little bit of brown plaid in it, but it's this beautiful, beautiful blazer. The inside is gray as well. It's got two buttons in the front and I think this would look so great with jeans, a little boot. It's gonna be adorable, I can already tell. Okay, I'm obsessed. This blazer is so stunning. It actually has like a pretty like slim fit. So I would definitely not suggest like sizing down on this. This is so beautiful. I love the shape of it. The shoulders are like super prominent. And then obviously you can like wear it down like this. But I just think this is like the perfect blazer. I am obsessed. It fits super well over this like lightweight sweater. Obviously you could wear it over like a tank or a t-shirt. But yeah, if you're wanting to pair it over any type of sweaters, I would not suggest sizing down. If you're thinking you're only gonna wear it with like a tank top, maybe a size down, but it really does fit pretty like slim, which is not that common for Madewell. I feel like most of the time for Madewell, I usually end up sizing down, but this is actually a just beautifully fit blazer. I'm just, I can't believe how well this fits. It has pockets on the side here and then two buttons here if you wanted to wear it with like a thinner top and do like a leather legging and like a super sleek heel I think would be really cute as well but yeah my whole life is gray right now but I'm not mad about it so those are all of my pieces from this haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below in the comments what your favorite piece was be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like these hauls let the brand know that you want to see more videos from me. If you are new to my channel, I have an entire playlist down below of my hauls, of Madewell hauls specifically, so you can check those out down below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. I have a lot more try-on hauls coming up in the next few months, but I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye, y'all.